evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Scored well up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Not much action as he just ties up. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Good doubling up of the jab by Muhammad Ali. I think they've played this song before. Ali and Frazier back out on the dance floor yet again. Yes, they have, and we want to hear it again. This is a tune that you just never, ever get tired of. You don't get tired of Sinatra, well, you never get tired of Ali Frazier. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Blocks the headshot. Ali with a right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Joe Frazier's got a way of just getting away from that punch. And now he scores well with the straight right. Teddy, you got to like this. He is damaged badly there. Did you see that? Oh, Joe Frazier is hurt here. He went down from that power punch. Boy, his opponent is just fearless going to the inside against Smoke and Joe. One, two, three, four, five. Frazier's rising back up. That takes some guts. What a nice big right hand from Muhammad Ali. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output, he's staying sharp defensively, you know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Frazier's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Right to the head with that right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He was stunned. Now he's in control. Oh! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. So Joe Frazier goes down and now rises to his feet. And now he has to make sure that he kills some time. Gets in close where he can smother his opponent. Well played, straight right hand. You see the defensive guard of Joe Frazier there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Wow, what a right hand from Muhammad Ali. Teddy, he's having a field day. He's peppering him with shots from the outside. Well, when did we all of a sudden show up at a bull ring? <laughs> I'm watching the Matador right now control that bull and not letting that bull get near where he can gore him. He gets off with a combination up top. 
Little head knocking with that right hand. Muhammad Ali's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Nice strike after catching one by Joe Frazier. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Huge right hand from Frazier. Joe Frazier's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. To the head he goes with a left hand. Frazier's that uppercut absolutely. There it is. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Muhammad Ali is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Frazier's landed a good, solid combination. The final bell of what was a thrilling fight, Teddy. And this truly is a fight that could go either way, and you could make an argument either way. Well, let's see which way it went. Send it up to our ring announcer with the official decision. This was a sure and steady effort by Muhammad Ali tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well.